Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and in today's video We're gonna be highlighting games planets awesome spring sale that they're running right now a ton of great deals And they're also running a bunch of flash deals that cycle every day I'm partnered with games planet So I thought I would bring you guys this video and we're gonna be taking a look at 10 great deals under the price of $5 So if you're on a tight budget and you want some great games, you can do so through this sale. Now, I should mention off the top that some of these deals are going to be the flash deals that are only going to run until early tomorrow. So if you're watching this and you have any interest in the flash deals, I would recommend you to get those ASAP. There are a few deals I also want to mention that are just a part of the general sale, and you can pick those up at any time. But every day, there are going to be more great deals loaded up. And if you guys like what you see, make sure you keep your eyes on the deals that are available. So we're going to start off with the Flash deal since they are available for a limited time. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Resident Evil games are on sale. A lot of them are under $5. I got to recommend Resident Evil 4, the Ultimate HD Edition. This is the cheapest I've ever seen it for. It's 78% off for $4.30. Resident Evil 4 is my favorite Resident Evil game. I know a lot of you guys have moved on to Resident Evil 2 and that game is tremendous. But I have some nostalgia with Resident Evil 4 as well. This was the game that that really took Resident Evil to a more action-oriented playstyle. It still has a lot of the horror elements, but definitely comparatively speaking to like RE3, it does move in a different direction. The game isn't all too long. You can complete it in around five to seven hours if you're decent at it. However, it is such an iconic game and it's a game that I highly recommend everyone to play. If at some point they remake this game for current gen and PC, man, it would be so much fun to go back and play through this game with modern visuals. But even now, I went back and played through this a little bit before Resident Evil 2 was released and I had a great time with it. And now for $4.30, whether you want to play through the game for the first time or you're looking to experience it for the first time, it is a great buy. Next up, here is an awesome deal that I think a lot of you guys are going to miss out on. It's not being promoted all too much, but I really think I should be moving to the top of the charts, and that is Castlevania Lords of Shadow Ultimate Edition. It is 87% off for $3.75. Guys, this is not your traditional Castlevania experience. I believe early on in development, this game wasn't even supposed to be a Castlevania title, but it's an action-adventure title, and it's a really good one at that. Visually, it looks great. This was actually released on 360 and PS3 way back, and then it's all a PC port out of nowhere years later and it was a rather good PC port and it is just a very good action adventure game. This version also includes the DLC, the Revere DLC, as well as the Resurrection DLC, new DLC levels and that kind of acts as a conclusion to the game. The game itself already is really good. And if you want an action-adventure title with some interesting puzzles in there as well, I think Castlevania Lords of Shadow is such a great buy. It released at the budget price of $30, but now for $3.75? Yeah, no-brainer here. Next up, I do want to give a mention to Metro 2033 Redo. Now, they do have the Redo collection on sale for like $7 and change, so that's what I would recommend. But for the sake of keeping it under $5, the Metro 2033 remaster is $4.80. They did have the Last Light remaster on sale. Last Light redo, that is. Unfortunately, that is out of stock right now. So that is a little bit of a bummer, but they still got Metro 2033, and I would give that a strong recommendation at $4.80. I know that there's so much controversy with Metro Exodus, but 2033 and Last Light are still some of the best games I've played on PC, and they are stunning games. And of course, these games do redeem directly on Steam. Don't give 4A games flat for it that was a deep silver decision and you guys should still experience the great games that 4e games put out with metro 2033 and last night again i would recommend the collection if you want to just get one game 2033 is 480 shadow run hong kong extended edition is also seeing a deep discount that is 76 percent off for four dollars and 75 cents they also have all the other shadow run titles on sale hong kong extended edition for this price is really good a very compelling tactical strategy rpg it's the definitive version of shadow run hong kong the third standalone game in the series and the Extended Edition also adds a bunch of new content. It hours a 6 plus hour Shadows of Hong Kong bonus campaign to the game as a free upgrade. You've got over 100 minutes of developer commentary audio, which is something I absolutely love in games. I love when games release like a director's cut or an extended edition and then they add developer commentary because it gives you a real insight onto a lot of the design choices that were made and why they went with one route instead of another. It's just something pretty cool I like to see in games. Some revamped gameplay elements as well. The game itself is already good if you're into classic RPGs and a story-driven RPG. RPG. Yes, from a visual standpoint, it's not a technical juggernaut. However, it is a compelling game start to finish. And if you dig that cyberpunk setting, yeah, it does that really 
well as well. And again, you're getting it for just $4.75, a really good buy for all of you looking for a classic RPG. Next up, I did want to give a shout out to one of my favorite indie games of all time, and that is Super Meat Boy. That is 80% off for $2.99. Super Meat Boy, again, one of the most iconic and most challenging indie titles that were ever released. This game is getting a sequel in Super Meat Boy Forever. Unfortunately, you guessed it, it's going to be a timed one-year Epic Store exclusive. However, Super Meat Boy is such an iconic game that if you've yet to play it, you should really do yourself a service and pick it up. It's also super addicting, and I find myself going back to this game and playing it all the time. Not super recently, but Super Meat Boy was one of those games that I can jump in and play at any given time, and for $3, I feel like it's an essential part of any PC library, and I would give it a recommendation. Alright, so those five deals were all a part of the Flash sale that's running right now, and all of those deals were under $5, but a lot of the Flash sale deals are over $5, but they've got some great deals. I saw Civilization V Complete Edition there for like $10 change and there were a bunch of other good deals so check it out for yourself moving on i also want to recommend some deals that are just a part of the sale and will be running through the entire duration of the sale and all of these are once again under five dollars let's kick it off with an awesome deal on metal gear solid 5 the phantom pain it is 80 percent off three dollars and 99 cents for the base game i should mention that the Definitive Experience is also 80% off for $6, which is absolutely insane. This includes Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, Metal Gear Solid 5, as well as a bunch of downloadable content. All that content for just $6 is so insane, so I would give that a recommendation. If you do want to stay under that $5 threshold, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain is such a good game. Yes, it released with its fair share of controversy, but if you just jump into it now expecting a quality action-adventure stealth open world game, I think you will be rather pleased with what you find in MGS5. Yes, it doesn't have the breakthrough storytelling that an MGS4 had. There's definitely a story here. It's just told in a different way through cassette tapes and whatnot. I found the world pretty great. And also, this is a game that performance-wise is probably one of the best performing games on PC that I have ever played. Low-end hardware was running this game at high settings, you know, at 60 frames per second. Is it a technical masterclass of a game in terms of visuals? No. But still, given that low-end PCs could still get incredible performance out of this game, it was pretty awesome. And now that you can get it for $4 or 6 dollars for the definitive experience yeah that's an easy easy recommendation next up i do want to give a mention to fahrenheit indigo prophecy remastered now if you guys aren't aware this is quantic dreams first game and of course their other three games are going to be coming exclusive to the epic store but fahrenheit indigo prophecy is a pretty iconic game it was originally released back in 2005 and it was a breakthrough game at the time now has it aged all too well no but i still found it to be rather compelling it came to pc pretty recently a few years ago and I actually like did a couple parts of a walkthrough for it I played through it on my own, and yes, yeah, some of the camera angles are horrible. Some of the gameplay nuances are pretty bad, but I think the game is still so interesting, and the storytelling is still top-notch. For just paying $2, Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy is still a really good buy. If you want a narrative-driven game, it's definitely worth a look. Speaking of narrative-driven games, here's another one that I always go to bat for, and that is Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. This is one of the most emotional, story-driven platform games that you are ever gonna come across. It's an adventure about two brothers on an epic fairy tale journey from visionary Swedish film director Joseph Ferris and top tier developer Starbreeze Studios. You'll solve puzzles, explore varied locations, and fight boss battles, controlling one brother with each thumbstick. And yes, the story plays out. You might get a little bit teary eyed. I mean, this is one of the games that people look back on and say, yeah, that's one game that made me a little bit emotional. For $3, it's an experience I think everyone should have. And it's a great buy at that price. I've also noticed that this game has been holding up in price quite a bit. I've seen it go on sale for like $6 before. So $3 is a pretty good buy. I've seen it in Humble Bundles before as well, but I haven't seen that in quite a while. So 3 bucks again, a pretty good buy on that. Next up, this is a rather interesting recommendation. Rise Son of Rome is 75% off for $3.75. Now, if you guys are unaware of this game, it was an Xbox One launch game, and it was bashed at launch, but it was bashed because it was a full $60 release, and it was a three to four hour game. What I would compare Rise Son of Rome to is what The Order 1886 was. It was a good game for the short period that you could advance into it, but $60 was just way, way too much. Well, now, guess what? Rise Son of Rome is on PC. It looks great, and you're not paying an obscene $60. You're paying $3 dollars and 75 cents and hey for that to get that three to four hour experience i think it's pretty good the combat while it's not super nuanced i would say it's very satisfying and again visually this game is still one of the most stunning games you're gonna come across it and for three dollars and 75 cents maybe you saw this game in the past it interested you but the reviews kind of turned you off at a cheap price like this i would say that it's well worth it 
And lastly, I want to give a recommendation to Hitman Absolution. This is 75% off for $4.99. And I just talked about this in my last video about how this game recently got ported over to the PlayStation 4. And they charged $60 for Absolution and Blood Money, which was so crazy. Hitman Absolution, I think, is a pretty underrated Hitman game. Was it worth $60? Maybe not. But I thought it was a rather good game. It has a 79 on Metacritic, so critics seem to kind of like it. I remember playing this back in 2012 when it was originally released, and I had a pretty good time with it. This is another game that really accentuates the PC in terms of a graphical standpoint. However, at this point, obviously, being an older game, it's not like it's going to be all too difficult to run, but still, visually, it looks pretty good. And if you want that stealth action experience, I think Hitman Absolution is going to offer you that, especially at $4.99. They do have Hitman 2 on sale as well, the most recent Hitman release. However, that's at a hefty $36, so that might be a little off-putting. Absolution, on the other hand, for $5, that is a pretty good buy. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, the Games Planet Spring Sale will be running for a bit, and they will have Flash Sale updates every day, so expect more great deals. I'll leave links to everything in the description box down below, and that's gonna conclude this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live i would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content i'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out